A few years back, when GoPro had absolutely no competition, owning an action cam was a rather expensive whim. Fortunately, this has changed over time, and now, for a fraction of what you have to pay for a GoPro, you're gonna have something that might be just enough. In this video, I'm taking a closer look at the Ekken H8 Pro, a 4K action camera which runs for about $100. Ekken's chassis is made of plastic, and it's rubberized all around. Size-wise, it's similar to GoPro's Hero Series. The construction isn't waterproof, but the camera comes with a case that enables you to take it diving as deep as 30 meters below the surface. On the front, next to the wide-angle lens, there's a monochromatic OLED display, a little less than an inch big. It shows status information, battery level and current operating mode along with its parameters. Below the screen there's one of the three buttons. The second one is on the top, while the third one is located on the right side of the camera. The back of the unit is mostly taken up by 2-inch LCD screen. Footage is recorded on microSD cards up to 64GB in intervals 1 or 5 minutes long. Inside the H8 Pro, there is a 12 megapixel Sony sensor and a Brella chip, which together offer real 4K video recording at 30fps. The camera is powered by a removable 1050 mAh battery that is set to last for an hour of recording. The battery is charged via micro USB connector, and the charging itself takes about 2 hours. Ekken features micro HDMI output that you can use to connect the camera to a larger screen. Ekken Action Cam comes with a bunch of different accessories, various straps, mounts and whatnot, a very solid starter pack. The only thing that's missing is some kind of a suction cap mount. The mount design is the same as on the GoPro, which ensures compatibility with plethora of accessories on the market. Push the power button, and after 8 or so seconds, the camera is ready to work. User interface is responsive and very straightforward. Push the mode button to change current position. Use the record button to select highlighted option. And the Wi-Fi button to exit current menu. As far as video recording is concerned, there are five modes available, from 4K at 30fps to 200fps at 720p. The LCD display produces a decent image that's easily readable even in direct sunlight. What's also important is that you still have access to all controls after putting the camera in the watertight casing. Video quality at 4K is decent, but the image is a bit dark to my taste especially on a cloudy day. You can change the exposure manually, but it's not very convenient and should be done automatically. Also, a little controversial is the white balance algorithm, which changes color's temperature in real time, depending on whatever is in the shot. What Ekken H8 is missing is image stabilization, even though the umbrella chip has it listed on the specs sheet. This results in a very shaky image from the camera mounted on the road bike unless you're riding on a battery smooth surface, which happens almost never. The built-in mic does a pretty good job recording audio when you handheld the cam while standing still. Slap it onto your bike and the audio will be pretty much unusable. Battery life is good. The camera holds charge for 50 something minutes. If it's not enough, you can get a few spare ones along with a dedicated charger. I wish there was a charging status LED that would suggest that the battery is fully charged. Because now you have to turn it on to check whether it's done charging or not quite yet. Ekken H8 Pro can take pictures using all 12 megapixels of the built-in sensor. The results are only semi-acceptable. If there's a lot happening in the frame, the camera struggles with capturing details. When you zoom in 100%, the photo starts to look more like a painting of 18th century impressionist. In burst mode, Ekken can take from 3 photos in 1 second up to 30 photos in 8 seconds, after which the camera needs a moment to itself to empty the memory buffer. A very neat feature is the EasyCam app on Android and iOS. Using the built-in Wi-Fi module, you can preview the shot, change operating mode, start recording or take a photo. Also very useful is the enclosed remote, enabling you to operate the camera from up to 20 meters. It's small and you can easily find a convenient place for it and record footage or take photos without touching the camera itself. 
Data transfer over USB is quite disappointing as it's limited to speeds of USB 2.0. So if you're in a hurry, you're better off using a dedicated SD card reader. Ekan H8 Pro is not a GoPro killer, but I think it just might be worth the $100. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.